Hello, welcome to a very special Winter Break PE. I'm Coach Kevin from Playformance, and it's so good to see you. Now for today's special Winter Break PE, you are gonna need five sock balls. That's just one sock rolled up into a ball. You are gonna need 10 stackable cups. That's right, 10 of them and you are going to need your water bottles. Now our learning objectives, and yes, we are gonna be doing some learning during winter break, even though there's no school. We're gonna number one, learn about exercising our bodies vigorously. We still need to get lots of exercise even though we're on winter break. Number two, we are going to practice shooting an object at a target using our feet it's going to be a lot of fun. And finally, objective number three is we're going to learn an important life skill. Now, that life skill is this. You get what you give. What does that mean, Coach Kevin? Well, if you're going to give out kindness to other people, I bet that you're going to get kindness back. But if you're going to give out negativity to people, I bet that that negativity will come back right to you. If you criticize someone, I bet you they might criticize you back. However, remember, if you are nice to someone, I bet you they're going to be nice back. You get what you give. All right. Now, we're going to warm up with a fun dance called the freeze dance. You can dance like me, but even better, Make up your own dance moves. All right, let's have a lot of fun today. Here we go. Let's play the party freeze game. Now remember, when I say freeze, freeze. And when I say dance,
All right, it's time for the daily dose of vigorous exercise. We're gonna get our hearts really strong. We're gonna do elf workout. That's right, it's movements inspired from the movie Elf. Now, try your best to do the movements just like me, but if you need to change the movements up a little bit, that's okay too. Remember, if you are having fun, you're doing it right. Are you ready? Get set, here we go.
game time. But first, our food rule of the week. This is one of my favorite food rules, and I bet it's gonna be one of yours too, and that is break the food rule once in a while. Sometimes we have a special occasion, like a birthday party or the holidays, and that's a great time to enjoy food, enjoy some treats, and yes, that means sugar, and eat what you love and love what you eat and just enjoy it. All right, now the game that we're gonna play is called Snow Castle. Now this game has three levels. Level one is we need to collect our cups so that we can build the snow castle. So the rule is to collect a cup, you're gonna back up maybe about five feet away from your cups and you need to bear crawl to your cups. You're gonna take one cup. Come on cups. And then you're gonna put it on your belly and then you crab crawl it back to where you started from. Then I'm gonna bear crawl. I get to grab one cup, then I crab crawl it back. All right? And we are going to collect our cups. That's level one is to collect the cups. Now, we're gonna put on some music and a timer. And just so you know, if the timer runs out and you're not finished collecting the cups, all you gotta do is press that pause button until you're done collecting the cups, and then you can move on to level number two. All right, are you ready? Get set. And go! Collect those cups! One cup at a time. collected all my cups, so I get to move on to level number two. Remember, if you're still moving and you need more time, press the pause button. Now for level two, this level is build the castle. So now I'm gonna use my cups and I get to build a snow castle. Now, I'm gonna build my castle how I want it, and you get to build your castle how you want it. And if you want to add other things besides cup to your castle, go for it. Let's put on a timer. We'll put on some music. And just like before, if the timer runs out and we move on to level three and you're not ready, just press the pause button and build as long as you need. Are you ready to build? Get set and build.
I am done with my snow castle. So we're gonna move on to level three. If you need more time to build, just press the pause button. Now, level three, we have to introduce the villain of this story. We are gonna be the villain. And we're gonna take our five sock balls that we have, and now we are gonna try to destroy the snow castle. Now, how we're gonna do that is we are going to try to launch these snowballs like a catapult over our head and try to hit down all the cups, all right? Now, watch me first, and then you'll get a chance to go. So what I'm gonna do is put my snowballs next to me. I squeeze one of the snowballs between my feet, and then I'm gonna try to launch it over my head. Did I get it? Not quite. So now I take my next snowball, try again. Here I go. Did I get it? Oh, rats. Let me try again. I think they're launching over, so maybe I won't try as much power. Did I get it? Oh, that was close. I got another one. Did I get it? What the? One more try. Did I do it? Oh, not quite. Now, if you run out of snowballs, it's really easy. You just try and collect your snowball, and then you try again. And you're just gonna keep going until you knock over all your cups, or the timer runs out, or until you get bored. All right, are you ready to try? Let's do it together. We're gonna put on some music, and we're gonna put on a timer. And if you happen to knock over your castle, and there's still time on the clock, feel free to go back to level two, rebuild it, and then try to knock it over again. All right, are you ready? Get set and go. whole snow castle over, but not quite. Now, if you want more time, just press the pause button and keep playing. Another idea is maybe that was a bit frustrating. I'll be honest. I was starting to get a little frustrated because I was having a hard time getting those last three cups down. What other ways could you try to destroy your snow castle? I bet some of you said you could throw. So maybe you want to think about overhand throwing at your snow castle. Maybe some of you thought you could bowl your snowballs at the snow castle. So that could be another idea. Or maybe you want to try to kick your snowballs at your castle. Or to make it really fun, if you have a brother or a sister or a parent, or a grandparent, or someone who takes care of you, 
and they have to guard the snow castle while you throw the snowballs? Maybe you could play that way. Lots of different variations. All right, now, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna invite all of you to take a moment to get ready for a mindful minute. And we're gonna start by standing. We're gonna put a video on the screen. I'm gonna do the video with you. You'll see me in the corner doing the video as well. And we'll do our mindful minute together. I hope you like it. Let's take a journey into our inner world using our imaginations. Let's place our hands on our eyes and imagine the sun on our skin. Let's bring our hands to our side and imagine ourselves as a big, tall tree. We are grounded to the ground and we are absolutely free. Now, gently raise your hands and imagine there is wind blowing and it sways you from side to side. You gently move in a beautiful dance, swaying with the wind. You are one with the wind. Take a deep breath in and then breathe out. Feel that you are getting strong inside. And as you get stronger, the wind gets stronger, swaying you even harder. As you dance the gentle dance with the wind, you stay grounded and strong, just like a tree. Now imagine the wind is slowing down, and as it slows down, imagine your body getting stiller and calmer. As the wind quietens, you breathe in the peacefulness deeply into every part of you. Life is so good, and you feel peaceful. Take a moment just to feel gratitude for all the love and caring that surrounds you. It's so amazing. Give yourself a big stretch, and you are ready to take on anything. Well, that sure was lovely. All right, my friends. I have a quick writing invitation for you. I mentioned at the beginning of the class that one important life skill is that we're going to get what we give. We talked about if we give out kindness, we'll, we'll most likely get kindness back. And if we give out anger to people, that might come right back to us. My question to you is, what are you going to give this holiday season? Draw a picture or use words and write about how you're going to give to others this holiday season. And it doesn't have to be presents that cost money. Remember, you can give out lots of things. You can open the door for somebody. You can give out hugs. You can give out smiles. So those are just, those are just a few ideas. All right. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. And I'll see you next week for another winter break PE. Bye.